Hey Seahawks, Miss Ohada here. So this week's ATL lesson is super short. We're going to talk about human trafficking. This week we have a virtual Zoom assembly on Thursday. I am super stoked. So before we talk about human trafficking, I want to review all of you sitting here listening deserve healthy relationships in your life. Please remember that all of you, no matter what the relationship is, it could be romantic or a friendship or a relationship with family members, colleagues, peers, really important. Well, all healthy relationships should have trust, safety, respect, communication, and support. So what is human trafficking? You've heard me before. Human trafficking is exploitation of vulnerable people. And you're vulnerable just because of your age, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You're vulnerable because you don't have a college uh, diploma yet. You don't have a full-time job to be able to support you. So please pay attention uh, for your body and for labor. So Thursday, we have our very first virtual Zoom assembly. I'm bringing you one of my true friends, Ori Freeman. She's been speaking in my health classes for years and then the pandemic hit and all that, you know the story. Anyway, Ori uh, has a story. She was trafficked in Orange County and we are going to share her story on Thursday. I'm, I hope you can join us. Uh, just a real quick thing, on Thursday, she's gonna talk about how she was trafficked and she's gonna share some uh, her story. So she might talk about abuse and sex trafficking. If any of you, this might be a trigger for you and I hear you and see you. If you need to see a wellness counselor, please, please, please uh, go to the ovhs.info website and on the right hand side, it says need a talk. You can totally fill it out. During school hours, this form is open. After school hours, you can call any of these hotlines. All right. I don't want anyone to feel alone. All right. So right now, what I would like you to do is I want you to identify one trusted adult in your life. It could be at school. It can be, you know, in outside activities you do, maybe at your church or through sports, or maybe it's your best friend's mom or a godmother, or auntie or uncle. Identify one trusted adult. Go ahead and private chat your teacher that you have, you can identify one trusted adult in your life. So go ahead and do that. Now, I've been teaching health for, this is almost my 15th year now. There are some, there are a few students that can identify someone. So I'm gonna give you some faces at OV that you could turn to even if you've never talked to them before. Some of you have never even been a campus yet, but we can't wait to have you back soon. So someone you can turn to would be a teacher. If you don't like any of your teachers, sorry. Uh, we really do care about you. You can turn to an OV staff member, a coach. You can turn to our amazing nurse, Ms. Von Costa, or our nurse technician, Ms. Miramontes. You can turn to Ms. Cotto, our college and career spe specialist. She's super nice, promise. You can turn to any one of these wellness counselors and that form, that Google form, is gonna link you to one of these counselors that are available. And I create a whole bunch of student support resources for my health students, but I'm going to share these resources with your teachers so you have access to this. And so Thursday, I cannot wait for you all to join us during our virtual first OV virtual assembly, Ori Freeman. So I'll see you there, Seahawks.